I like making corn husk baskets because it's my stress relief and it's some place where my mind can go, where nothing else bothers me. Whenever I feel lost or, you know, there's a conflict in my life, I'll sit down and weave. It's a piece of home for me. Way back when, the corn husk baskets were used for food storage. You'd sew up the tops of them, and the corn husk would act as a layer to keep the bugs out, keep the food fresh. Nowadays, corn husk is more for show. It's beautiful, it's rare. People use it for purses, they put it on horse regalia. It's not just for food storage anymore. A lot of people in my community that have heard of the corn husk baskets, but when I have them in person where they can take a look at them and see them, they kind of realize, you know, it's still here. I am an enrolled member of the Confederate Tribes of Warm Springs, and with Warm Springs comes the Warm Springs, Paiute, and the Wasco. I myself am all three, but I also have a little bit of Shoshone, uh, Yakima, and Hoopa. So I'm a mixture of a lot of tribes. <laughs> I like to bring in a little bit of the Wasco designs. I like to bring in a little bit of the Paiute technique. I want to learn a little bit more of the Hoopa weaving. That's one of my goals is to do all the tribes I'm a part of. This design is a simple triangle design and I'm slowly working up the pattern to be all the different colors of the rainbow. When I first started, I graphed everything out. After the years of practice and trying different things, I've come to the point of, I'm just gonna wing it. I just kind of go along now and just see what comes out. I learned how to weave the very first time at our tribal culture camp. You had a choice of drum making, basket weaving, beadwork, and I picked baskets. Made my first basket, went home, showed my mom, look what I made. She's like, oh, I make baskets too. So that was when I was 12. But it wasn't until my mid 20s, I decided I really wanted to learn baskets. My mom finally relented and showed me some techniques, some little secrets that she wouldn't share before because she knew I was more serious about it. So I was really lucky in the sense that my mom ultimately was my teacher and my mentor in baskets. So mom, when I'm ending this one to start my color, I have to go back. Back one. Back one, Just so back not, one. not this far, but right yeah, now. Yeah, I first yeah. learned cornice weaving from my grandma Ruby 40 years ago. At first I didn't like it because it was hard. And you know, when you're in your 30s, you know, you're not very cultural or anything like that. But the corn husks, they were all dying out. And that's the only reason I start teaching it. So over mm -hmm. and under. Yeah. I just wanted the young people to learn okay. and pull it over both of those and tighten it down. Okay. This is my first one that I made. And just think I was 30 some years old when I made this. Okay. When I think about starting a basket, I get my twine out, I get the colors that I want. Then I pray about them. I pray really hard deep down in my soul and I realize now that's what goes into them, is your love and for the basketry and the warmth from your soul and your heart. That's what we get out of our basket weaving. And I'm so proud of my daughter that she picked up on it. Now she'll be able to 
grow and teach. And so I've done my purpose here with the basket weaving. <laughs> so I hope my grandma's proud of me. <laughs> okay, guys, come on in, pick a spot. We'll get started here. When I'm teaching Cornette's baskets, a lot of the people, they start off saying, oh, I can do this, this looks easy. We're gonna start wrapping the corn husk around the very front string that's closest to the corn husk. They get to the corn husk and it's slow process. Rip out, go forward, go back. The corn husk goes over the top of that one, just the one. It's a hard basket to master and I am considered a master weaver, but I don't consider myself a master weaver because I'm constantly learning with it. Yeah, it must be getting twisted in there somehow. And I like that feeling of exploring the baskets more and more each time. So you just wanna move this very back one out of the Out of a class of 10, 12 people, I'm lucky if one person they catch on, they want to keep doing it, and they will. Cornhusk basket technique is important to me because it is a little bit of our culture. It's a beautiful thing when somebody does pick it up and say, you know, I'm from Warm Springs, I make these baskets. It's just nice to hear it's going somewhere. People falling in love with it the way I did. <laughs>